Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to apply Shopify promotions in the Google Merchant Center. I'm Tim from LaunchPress at Digital Marketing, and we help manage promotions for our Shopify clients in the Google Merchant Center all the time. If you also got a Shopify store and you'd like help, feel free to reach out to us in the link in the description below. Setting up promotions through your Shopify store and adding them into your Google Merchant Center to be used on your shopping ads or your free listings is a great way to get your promotions out there. If you're having a store-wide sale or sales on particular products and categories, or you're doing a promotion for a holiday that's coming up soon, or any other type of occasion. And to give you an idea what the promotions look like when you do set them up, if we zoom in on this image here, we can see that how they display through the shopping tab or through Google Shopping Ads. When a special offer label pops up like this and people click on the special offer, they'll be able to see the promotion type and offer and when it should expire. It also adds in the coupon code for when they click shop to continue through to your store. Firstly, in the Google Merchant Center, you need to ensure the promotions program is active. Come under growth, select manage programs, scroll down to under promotions and make sure that's enabled. We already have it enabled for our test store. Coming to our test store, we'll create our coupon code first. So we come under discounts, select create discount. And you've got four different discount types that you can choose from. Pick the one with the promotion that you're going with for your store. And for the purpose of this example, we'll stick with an amount off the total order. When creating your discount offer, you can use a discount code or you can make it automatic across the, the store. So this will be automatically applied at the checkout. In our example, we're going to call this Black Friday, Cyber Monday, 20% off deal. You can generate a random code like so. But if you want to be very specific, we can call ours Black Friday or BMCF 20 and the percentage value is 20%. And you can state a minimum purchase amount if you wish. So you want to make it $20 or whatever it might be. Then you can get ultra granular by making it eligible to certain customers or customer segments, or you can just have it for all your customers. And you can set the discount to have limited number of times it can be used or limit it to one use per customer. We'll just leave it open. It's different combinations that you can be used with. If you have another offer, it can be combined. Black Friday, so Monday, I'll just quickly go to where I assume the dates will be for 2024. It's usually at the end of November, and we can set an end date, make it on the Monday, 11.59 p.m. You can set date and time, we'll make that 12 a.m. Then on the right-hand side, just double check the summary to make sure the type method and details are correct. And as this is a Shopify promotion, I recommend you check the sales channel being Google and YouTube app. And we can see now it's for the online store and one sales channel. Then click save. Okay, that was successful and we can see it's scheduled. Coming back into the Google Merchant Center, come under marketing and then promotions. Now there's two ways you can create promotion within the Google Merchant Center. We can click the blue button to add. However, if you have a lot of discounts for promotions for all different products and product categories, it may be better to create a promotion speed, but I'll cover that in a later video. But for now, let's add a new promotion and we'll select the country and we're based in the US for our test store. Select the language. Whatever currency you've set up before is defaulted. Here we can select the destinations for the promotions. You may only be running these promotions through Google Shopping. You can uncheck free listings, whatever suits you. Now we have four different promotion categories we can pick from. Amount off, percentage off, free gift, and free delivery. Ours is a percentage off store-wide, so we'll select percentage off. Then we have promotion types, standard percentage off. If they buy a quantity, they get a percentage off. And then buy quantity of products and get the same item off and so on. So you just pick the one that's right for you, but for us today, we'll be picking just a standard percentage off. And under the promotion details, we can state the percentage. Ours is 20% off with a minimum spend of $20. Now, one thing to note, that under the promotions policies, and I'll leave this link in the description below for you to take a look at, when adding in the values, you can't have a promotion that's less than 5% of the current price or under $5 in the US. And that changes depending on the location you're running promotions into. Another thing to note that promotions are only available in these countries at the moment. However, Google are slowly expanding the countries they're running promotions into. So going back to Google Merchant Center, we have our values in place. Let's select continue. And now we've come up to the promotion setup. So let's give it a title, call it CM 20% off. Let's give it the promotion ID that we have for the discount code. Copy that for later. And under the products, we can create a filter to apply the promotion to specific products. And that can be under any of these four attributes. So for example, you might have a brand, you might be running Reebok or Adidas. You can apply that across that brand, et cetera, et cetera. You can also apply the promotions through a product feed. As you can see here, we do have to add in a promotions ID. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll be covering this in a future video. But today we'll apply the promotions to all products. Now let's add in that promo code. This is optional. 
However, I would like to add it because I want to make sure the code is front and center based on this example that I showed earlier. And again, the day ranges, scrolling down to when Black Friday will likely be active this year, Black Friday and Cyber Monday, apply that and then click create promotion. Now that the promotion has been created, you may not be able to see it. I recommend you refresh your page, then select promotion status and then select all, click apply and we can see that it's currently under review. We have to wait a few days to see if this will get approved by Google. And if it is disapproved, they'll give you a reason for it. And then if you go through and create a new promotion in order to get that one approved. For now, we'll just sit tight and I'll see you in the next video. If you'd like to boost sales in your Shopify store by increasing your average order value size, check out this link in this page here in the description below. And you're more than welcome to download my free PDF here on how you can implement those strategies for your store. And I'll keep an eye out for my course that's coming up. I'll be sharing all my SOPs in there on how you can set up Google ads for Shopify and more. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video.